What's up everyone? I am a one-man crew today, so um, yeah, I'm gonna be adjusting as I go along here, but I'm in the new office. Uh, they just moved to this new office here, which was featured in the interview that I uh, did for KABC. I think it was a few weeks ago that I had posted on the vlog. Um, so yeah, I am just waiting right now. I had my typical standard readings that you would have at any doctor's appointment, like my weight, um, my blood pressure, temperature, totally normal stuff. So, now we wait. Yes. Why am I so nervous? I don't know. <laughs> well, I thought when you did You're that on KABC. TV. This is just little TV thing. Board. I wasn't nervous at all. <laughs> they like you were a superstar. What? On uh, on that TV thing. Um, they really focused on you. Yeah, it was cool. It was very cool. Okay, so what's new in your <sighs> what's <laughs> life? So, I'm dating someone, so that's good. Fantastic. Yeah. So, I, I met a, a, a guy that every single person meets him is like, he's such a good guy. So, he's he pretty... Positive awesome. or negative? He's actually positive, by okay. coincidence. Okay. Yeah. So, let's just play a little mind game. Okay. Which I think you already know the outcome of this mind game. If um, this wonderful person were negative, yeah. what would that be like? What would it be like? For you. Um, I don't know. This, it would be the same. <laughs> Good answer. And why would it be the same? Because I'm undetectable. Bingo. And, and what does that mean? That means In terms that I, of dating somebody else who's negative. That means that I can't give them the virus. That means, yeah, we have no evidence that you're capable of transmitting HIV. Yeah. So you can just breathe easy and yeah. that's not an issue. Yeah. It was completely coincidence that he's also has HIV. Where'd you meet each other? Um you can edit this part out too. <laughs> <laughs> no. He had been he had actually been reaching out to me for over a year on Facebook. Uh huh. And I kinda just blew him off. And then within the span of a week we ran into each other three times in West Hollywood and we've never run into each other before then. Mm -hmm. And it was finally like, okay, let's let's hang out. But yeah. Fantastic. So it's been like two months now. Great. Good, good, good. Yeah. How's weightlifting going? Good. Are you going to compete anytime soon? Probably mid-year is when I'm going to gear up to compete. Excellent. In the meantime, I'm like doing fitness modeling and that good stuff. Social media. Good, good, good. And work's going okay? Yeah. It's going great. Our pilot for our reality show is coming out this month on Food Network. Which reality show? <laughs> I think it's called On Dynasty. And it's about the owner and then a couple like smaller characters and like myself included. Cool. So if it gets picked up for a season, I'm gonna talk to the producers and be like, yo, I'd love to work in the HIV storyline too. I think that'd be really interesting. Yeah, I think it'd be fantastic because that story needs to be told. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So there you are working amongst the public. And <laughs> have you had a flu vaccine no, this fall? No, I was gonna ask you for that. Yep, done. So flu, I'm going to tell the world, is um, a really bad virus that I think is underappreciated, but we can do a lot to help prevent it, and yeah. what we can do is give a vaccine. Uh, it's not 100% guaranteed that you're not going to get the flu, but it's the best prevention that we have. Yeah. You cannot get the flu from the flu vaccine. I know a lot of people are a little afraid of getting a flu vaccine because mm -hmm. they think they're going to get sick. That actually can't happen. Uh, well, you can't get the flu from the flu vaccine. You can get a little achy just because it's kind of stimulating your immune system, yeah. but in a good way. Yeah. It's a good stimulation that helps keep you healthy. Mm -hmm. So there you go. How Start is your sex life? Are you having sex? Yeah, I am. Okay. With this new guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. I started the Big Tar V. Uh huh. When did you start? The first of January. Oh, so you had a bunch of leftover yeah. Jamboya? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I'm assuming 
you haven't noticed any difference between Gen Boya I haven't. and Big Tarby. Yeah. I mean, the only differences are that the Big Tarby is a little smaller, and you can take it with or without food. Yeah. Um, it has fewer drug interactions. Okay. Go ahead and open up. Big uh. It's really a pretty phenomenal medication. And it's also pretty phenomenal to think about how much progress has been made in terms of yeah. treating HIV. Is there still, because um, last time I talked about interactions and you mentioned also magnesium and really high, does that have the same uh, interaction with yes. Carby? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so if you're taking high dose magnesium, uh, you want to separate that out in time. If you're taking magnesium and calcium that's in a multivitamin, you don't have to worry about it. It's only a really high level. Yeah. So you can get really high levels in certain acids, mm -hmm. or if you're taking particular like, take ZMA. separate. Hmm? I take ZMA, which is zinc and magnesium, as a separate. Just make sure you separate it yeah. out. Okay, excellent. I think you're doing fantastic. Sweet. It sounds like you think you're doing fantastic. Yeah. Not complaining. I'm going to check a couple things. We'll get some labs out of you. We'll give you a flu vaccine. Okay. Your Victarby was costing nothing? Correct. Excellent. You want us to clean the wax out of that ear? Yeah. Okay. It's just the left. was that yeah. you wanted to ask? Yeah. Just ask. Thank you. So she'll come in, get blood, give you a flu vaccine, and clean uh, the junk out of that ear. Okay, awesome. Just want to check one quick thing. Yeah. Oh, your medication's coming from Premier, so they just deliver it to you, right? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Super easy. Okay. Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. And that's it, folks. That's all it is. <laughs> Uh, okay, so hold this. Okay. Oh yeah, I have to confess, I kind of feel like a dick because when I came here to park, um, I was already running late and there's this parking structure that's for this place and it's like, I think it's like six or seven stories and I drove up the entire thing and there was no parking but on the top like level or two levels it's all Audi parking for some reason for Audi cars like from the dealership or something like that and there was one spot open I pulled in and then as I was getting out of my car this girl in an Audi was like hey you can't park here it's just for Audi cars and I'm like I was like there are no parking spots in the structure and I have to go to my doctor's visit it I've been waiting six months to go to this visit and I can't just reschedule it and I'm already late like I'll be back in 30 minutes and she's like you can't park here and I was like I have to I'll be back in 30 minutes I promise so I just left my car up there she's like if you get a ticket it's not on me and I was like okay that's fine but I just feel really bad because I hate putting people in weird situations like that and um, I don't know if I run into her I have to I have to thank her after this maybe give her a tip or something I don't know I was I was desperate Really. Otherwise, I wouldn't do anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, where did she go? Oh, you're videoing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're fancy. Yeah. I'm like, wait, don't give my butt a shot. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give my good side. Yeah. I'm sharing my HIV doctor's visits. Oh, nice. With my YouTube. Look at you. So, is it live, live? Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's not live. It's oh, recorded. okay. Oh, but okay. you're gonna edit? Okay, I was like, wait oh, a I minute. I did my butt out. <laughs> Come on. So you get to hold that there? Okay. I think one, maybe. I think it's from what he said. Okay. And then you just put that in. 
I'm just going to squirt, 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 squirt. Let me just see. Oh, got a lot of stuff up. Oh, yeah. See, y'all want to see? No. Nope. You got to. I don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I just you? had it yesterday. Um, Chrissy <laughs> did mine, and I felt dizzy, too. Yeah. Oh, but now it's clean. Yay. So, you should sit there for about five minutes or so until you feel not dizzy. Because it's just that the pressure on your ears are Yeah. And then she's going to draw your blood and all that other stuff. Okay? You're supposed to be sitting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dizzy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you. All right, no Thank problem. You. Good to see ya. Take care. Bye. He's a good patient. <laughs> <laughs> Cedars. Mm -hmm. The nurses always get excited. <laughs> like, oh my god, look at his veins. <laughs> How many vials are we doing? Um, three, six. Six vials. Where do you want your shot? The same arm? Sure. Do you know where you do need to do it? Uh, up here? Yeah, like okay. right here. Everyone's going to make fun of me because I'm taking my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> I always seem to find some excuse to say I'm not sure. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that was it. You saw the full doctor's visit. Nothing hidden, nothing secret, nothing scary. So all I'm gonna do now is pee in a cup and then I'm done. And then we'll go check and see if my car hopefully doesn't have a ticket or isn't towed. <laughs> and this is where the magic happens. Okay, but I'm not gonna let you watch, okay? Bye. And done. Going down the elevator, oh my god. A little tense because I don't know if my car is going to be there or if there's going to be a ticket or what's going on. So let's hope for the best. Sixth or seventh floor, I don't even know. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Look at this, look at this sign, just in case I need proof. So, we'll see what level I'm parked on. Because if it's on six, seven, or eight, even if there's Audi cars there, I'm good. Okay. Hey guys, so I was up this morning editing on my laptop and realized that I don't have any footage from after I was on the stairs yesterday trying to figure out what happened to my car because I was not recording. Total noob mistake. So to tell you what happened, I went up there, got to my car, everything was cool, there was no ticket, that lady wasn't around so I didn't bother with that either. But what I wanted to say is that the whole appointment went really well. And it was really smooth, it was really easy. What you saw is what 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 it was. There's nothing hidden and nothing secret or anything weird like that. And it's not scary. It's totally normal like any other doctor's visit. I go once every six months, so that's twice a year, and that's that's it. 
I get my medicine, we check up, see how I'm doing, and it's really, really, as you saw, uneventful. The biggest piece of advice that I would want to give you guys, for those of you who are either diagnosed or know someone diagnosed, or you're just, you know, learning about HIV and you're afraid of, you still have that, like, fear and stigma attached to it, is the best thing you can do for yourself in that situation is just to go about living your life. Live your best life, that's it. And then everything else will fall into place. It's just a matter of changing up your routine a little bit. Okay, why, do, Duke, why do you have to lick yourself right now? I'm trying to like, I'm trying to give like an inspirational talk right now and all I hear is the sound of you licking your balls. Wait, you don't have balls. Licking the area where there used to be balls. Look at this. I mean, come on, right now? Can you wait? Rude. Rude. I mean, that, that. I hope that's what you get from the, these videos of my doctor's visits, is a sense of relief that... Stop! <laughs> is a sense of relief that it's not that big of a deal. Life goes on. You can be healthy and happy and, and fit and not have to, like... It's not all doom and gloom anymore, guys. It really isn't. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this second video of my doctor's visit. I hope there were some tidbits in there maybe that were helpful or educational. Um, if you haven't seen my first one, go ahead and check that out. I'll put a, I'll put a card up. And uh, there's, some, there's some useful information on there about different drugs and then also supplement interactions, possibilities there, stuff like that. So check that out if you haven't watched it. If you like this video, please like it. If you're new here, Go ahead and hit subscribe so you can stay tuned and be notified of any future videos that I'd be posting probably about once a week. And I would love to hear your comments below, what you think, give me your feedback, what's your experience, and yeah, I will see you soon. Alright, peace.